Did you know that perfectionism isn't about being perfect, but about the fear of never being good enough? In today's society, the pressure to be flawless has reached new heights, and it's taking a serious toll on our mental health, relationships, and overall happiness. If you want to break free from this constant need for perfection, you need to rethink everything you've been taught about success and self-worth. Whether it's in your career, personal life, or even just scrolling through social media, the weight of perfectionism is all around us. But here's the truth. It's not helping us achieve more, it's holding us back. So what if I told you that embracing imperfection is actually the key to living a more fulfilling and authentic life? In this video, we're going to dive deep into the roots of perfectionism, the impact it has on our lives, and, most importantly, how you can break free from its chains. Let's start this journey by looking at the very thing that weighs us down the relentless pursuit of perfection. Number 1. The weight of perfectionism in modern society. Picture this. You wake up in the morning, and for just a brief moment, everything feels right. The sun is shining, you're ready to take on the day, and then, almost like clockwork, it begins. The pressure to be perfect, to look perfect, to have everything together in every part of your life. We've all been there, right? That overwhelming feeling that no matter how hard we try, we're always a step behind this impossible standard. Perfectionism in today's world isn't just a personal struggle, it's a societal expectation. Think about it. Every day, whether through social media or in our jobs, we're bombarded with images of flawless lives, perfect relationships, and outstanding achievements. It's as though society has created a mirror that reflects only our shortcomings. We're left chasing after an ideal that isn't real, yet it feels so real. That's the weight of perfectionism in modern society. It hangs over us like a cloud, pressing down on our shoulders, whispering that we're not good enough unless we meet that elusive standard. But here's the thing. Perfectionism isn't just a challenge. It's also an opportunity. It gives us the chance to stop and reflect. What if this need for perfection isn't a flaw, but a doorway to something deeper? What if we could redefine what perfection really means, and in doing so, lift that weight off our shoulders? The more you think about it, the more curious you become. What if we've been looking at it all wrong? Number 2. Understanding the origins of perfectionism. Let's dive deeper. Where does this need for perfection come from? It's not like we wake up one day and decide, I want to be a perfectionist. No. Perfectionism is planted in us slowly, like a seed. For many of us, it starts in childhood. Maybe you had that one teacher who expected nothing but A's, or parents who, even with the best of intentions, pushed you to always do better, to never settle for less. And then there are societal messages, constantly telling us that success means flawlessness. At its core, perfectionism often stems from a desire to feel valued, to belong, to be loved. When we're young, we learn that meeting expectations brings praise, and failure often brings disappointment. Over time, this reinforces the idea that only perfection is acceptable. But here's the twist. Perfectionism doesn't make us feel better. It does the opposite. It makes us feel like we're running a race we'll never win. But understanding where this comes from can help us change the way we respond to it. And here's where nostalgia kicks in. Think back to a time when you were a child, before you ever worried about being perfect. Remember how free you felt, how unburdened by expectations. Life wasn't about achieving perfection. It was about exploring, learning, and being curious about the world. What if we could return to that mindset? What if we could let go of the pressures that perfectionism brings and start living with the same curiosity we had back then? Number 3. The Impact of Perfectionism on Mental Health Now let's talk about something that hits close to home for many of us. 
the toll that perfectionism takes on our mental health. Perfectionism, for all its promises of success and achievement, often leaves us feeling anxious, stressed and burnt out. The constant drive to be flawless creates a pressure cooker in our minds, one that can lead to anxiety disorders, depression and even feelings of worthlessness when we inevitably fall short of those impossible standards. It's ironic, isn't it? We strive for perfection because we believe it will make us happy, but it ends up doing the exact opposite. We become trapped in a cycle of self-criticism and fear of failure. And when we do fail, it feels like the end of the world, because in the perfectionist mindset, there is no room for mistakes. Everything has to be perfect, or it's nothing. Here's where we take a nostalgic turn. Think back to a simpler time, when mistakes were just part of life. Remember how as kids, we used to fall off our bikes, get back up and try again, without overthinking it, without beating ourselves up. Mistakes were how we learned, but somewhere along the way, we stopped seeing mistakes as opportunities and started seeing them as proof that we weren't good enough. What if we could change that perspective? What if we could go back to embracing our imperfections as part of the journey? Number four, perfectionism in relationships, the strain of unrealistic expectations. Perfectionism doesn't just affect how we see ourselves, it seeps into our relationships too. Have you ever noticed how perfectionism makes it harder to connect with others? When we expect perfection from ourselves, we often expect it from the people around us. Whether it's a partner, a friend, or even a co-worker, those unrealistic expectations constrain our relationships. We want them to meet the same impossible standards we hold ourselves to, and when they don't, we feel frustrated, disappointed, even resentful. Relationships are supposed to be about connection, understanding and support, but perfectionism turns them into tests. We start keeping score. Who messed up? Who didn't meet the expectation? Who's to blame? It's exhausting and it prevents us from experiencing real intimacy. We forget that the beauty of relationships comes from their imperfection, from the way we learn and grow together, flaws and all. Now, let's go back in time. Remember those early days in a relationship, whether it was with a partner, a friend, or even a family member. The beginning was always so effortless. You weren't worried about being perfect, you were just enjoying the moment, discovering each other, flaws and all. But as time goes on, perfectionism starts creeping in. What if we could go back to that place of acceptance and understanding, where imperfections were seen as endearing rather than problematic. Number five, perfectionism in careers, the never ending pursuit of flawlessness. When it comes to our careers, perfectionism can feel like both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it drives us to succeed, to push ourselves beyond what we thought possible. It's what helps us climb the corporate ladder or become the best in our field. But on the other hand, it can turn into an obsession. Suddenly, every project has to be flawless, every task has to be completed without error, and the pressure to be perfect becomes suffocating. Perfectionism in the workplace can lead to burnout faster than anything else. The constant need to prove yourself, to outdo your last performance, can drain you of your energy and passion. You stop enjoying your work and start dreading it because no matter how hard you try, it's never enough. The finish line keeps moving and you're left chasing something you'll never catch. Now think about the beginning of your career. Remember how excited you were when you first started. You were eager to learn, to grow, to take on new challenges. You weren't focused on being perfect. You were just excited to be part of something bigger than yourself. But as time went on, that excitement was replaced by stress, by the fear of making a mistake. What if you could rediscover that sense of curiosity and passion? What if you could let go of the need for perfection and start enjoying your work again? Number six, social media and the rise of perfectionist culture. 
If there's one place where perfectionism is on full display, it's social media. Every day we're bombarded with images of perfectly curated lives, flawless bodies, beautiful homes, exotic vacations and successful careers. It's no wonder that social media has become a breeding ground for perfectionist culture. We compare ourselves to these idealized versions of reality and feel like we're falling short. But here's the thing. Social media is a highlight reel. It shows the best moments, not the real ones. Social media has created a culture where perfectionism is not only encouraged, but expected. We see influencers and celebrities who seem to have it all, and we start to believe that if we just worked a little harder, we could have it all too. But the truth is, nobody's life is perfect, not even the ones who seem to have it all together online. We're all human, and that means we all have flaws. Let's take a moment to look back. Remember a time before social media, when we didn't have constant access to everyone else's lives? Life was simpler. We weren't constantly comparing ourselves to others or feeling like we had to measure up to impossible standards. What if we could go back to that mindset? What if we could stop comparing and start appreciating the beauty of our own imperfect lives? Number seven, breaking the chains. How to overcome perfectionism. So, how do we break free from the grip of perfectionism? It's not easy, but it's possible. The first step is recognizing that perfectionism isn't serving us. It's not helping us achieve our goals. It's holding us back. Once we realize that, we can start to let go of the need to be perfect and focus on progress instead. Overcoming perfectionism requires a shift in mindset. It means embracing the idea that mistakes are not failures, they're opportunities to learn and grow. It means allowing ourselves to be imperfect, to be human. And it means learning to set realistic expectations for ourselves and others. But how do we do that? Start small. Allow yourself to make a mistake without beating yourself up. Celebrate your progress, even if it's not perfect. Surround yourself with people who support you, not because you're perfect, but because you're you. Now think back to a time when you achieved something great, not because you were perfect, but because you persevered through challenges. What if you could approach every part of your life with that same mindset? What if, instead of striving for perfection, you started striving for growth? Number eight, embracing imperfection the path to authentic living. Imagine living a life where you no longer feel the pressure to be perfect. A life where you can show up as your true, authentic self, flaws and all. That's the life you get when you embrace imperfection. When you stop striving for an unattainable ideal and start accepting yourself for who you are, you free yourself from the burden of perfectionism. Authentic living means being okay with your mistakes, your quirks, and your imperfections. It means showing up as you are, without the need to put on a facade. And the best part? When you embrace imperfection, you give others permission to do the same. You create deeper, more meaningful connections with the people around you because they see the real you, not the perfect version you've been trying to be. Think back to a time when you felt truly accepted for who you are. Maybe it was with a close friend or a family member who saw your flaws and loved you anyway. What if you could bring that same sense of acceptance into every part of your life? What if you could stop hiding behind perfectionism and start living authentically? Number nine, the role of self-compassion in defeating perfectionism. At the heart of overcoming perfectionism is self-compassion. We're often our own harshest critics, holding ourselves to standards we would never impose on others. But what if, instead of criticizing ourselves, we started showing ourselves the same kindness and understanding we show to our loved ones? Self-compassion means recognizing that you are human and that being human means being imperfect. It means forgiving yourself for your mistakes and treating yourself with the same care and empathy 
you would offer to a friend in the same situation. When you practice self-compassion, you create a space where you can grow, learn and thrive without the constant pressure to be perfect. Think about a time when you were going through a tough period and someone showed you kindness and understanding. How did that make you feel? Now, imagine if you could give that same gift of compassion to yourself every day. What if you could start treating yourself with the love and care you deserve? Number 10. Liberation from perfectionism, the stoic path forward. And finally, let's talk about liberation. What does it mean to be truly free from perfectionism? For centuries, Stoic philosophers have taught the importance of accepting what we cannot control and focusing our energy on what we can. This is the essence of breaking free from perfectionism. We can't control every outcome and we can't always achieve perfection, but we can control how we respond to challenges, how we view our mistakes and how we treat ourselves along the way. Stoicism teaches us that perfection is an illusion. What matters is how we handle adversity, how we grow from our mistakes and how we continue to move forward, no matter the setbacks. When you embrace the stoic mindset, you stop striving for perfection and start striving for resilience, for growth and for peace of mind. Now, imagine living your life with this kind of freedom. What would it feel like to wake up every day and know that you don't have to be perfect? To know that your worth isn't determined by your achievements or your mistakes, but by the way you live your life? What if, instead of chasing perfection, you started chasing meaning, purpose and fulfillment? Breaking free from the chains of perfectionism isn't easy, but it's one of the most liberating choices you can make for your mind, your relationships and your future. By embracing imperfection and learning to let go of the impossible standards society imposes, you open yourself up to a life that's more authentic, more joyful and truly your own. It's time to redefine success, not by how flawlessly you execute every task, but by how resilient, adaptable and fulfilled you feel along the way. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows that you're part of the rare 0.01% who actually stick it out and commit to change. If you're serious about transforming your life and embracing this journey, make sure to join our community by hitting that subscribe button.